Hey, this is Phil Kaufman. I want to show you guys a technique that I use pretty often whenever I'm working uh, you know, on photos, website comps, anything in Photoshop really um, this, this is applicable for. And I'm wanting to do some sort of dodge and burning. So typically dodge and burning in Photoshop, you you know go over here and have and you pick you know, your dodge, your burn tool, whatever you are wanting to do and you apply it directly to a layer. So I've got this photo here and I can go ahead and start burning in on this and uh, you know do exactly what I want to what I want to do now while this achieves the effect this is destructive and I like to avoid being destructive with my layers and my Photoshop files as much as possible so I can maintain flexibility and I can edit that I can undo um, and just have all the options that come to me by keeping things uh, you know non-destructive and so uh, I came across a technique um, not too long ago, and I've I've been applying this to all my work now, and uh, it's 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 a great it's a great technique, and it's I don't know if it's a one to one uh, direct uh, correlation to uh, the outcome like or the uh, the output of the dodge and burn tool, but it's pretty darn close, and um, you know like I said it works great and it just gives you a lot more flexibility. So what you want to do is you need to create a new layer, and you need to fill that layer with fifty percent gray. So if you come over here to your color palette. Uh, I've got this set to black right now, but what you want to do is in this, uh, if you have HS and B, I want to set this to 50% on the B and hit OK. And then you want to fill that layer with gray. Now, um, you'll see here in the layers, we've got the gray above um, this photo right now. And you want to set the blending mode to this layer to overlay. Now that gets us right back to uh, the original photo. You can you know, turn the visibility of this layer on and off and you're not seeing any change. Um, and what you can do is you can start using the dodge and burn tools actually on this gray layer and it will, uh, you know, carry through into the layers below. So I can come back through and start, you know, burning here and I'm getting basically the same effect. But if you notice in my layer palette, it's actually darkening, um, you know, it's deepening the gray on this layer, which, uh, you know, with overlay, anything darker, it's going to, you know, make it darker anything you know lighter so if you came in here with your with your dodge tool and you wanted to you know pick a larger brush and you come in and do this you're getting some lightness here now on this gray and so you can uh you know you can you can dodge and burn to your heart's content and you're not affecting that bottom layer and uh, what's also great is you can come in even with your brush with that gray and essentially paint paint that out and you're basically just just going right back to as if you had never done anything to this layer at all. Um, this is just, uh, to me, this is just gives me a lot of flexibility. I can still choose the ranges. I can choose shadows, midtones, highlights. Um, it's, it's affecting it uh, basically the same way. Um, and, and what's also great is, <clears throat> you know, I, I, can, I can do a lot of things with this. I can, you know, say, you know, this is a great, I've got a great looking effect here, but it's a little strong, so I can back off on the opacity and maybe maybe drop it down to 80% um, or whatever I want to do and, and get more control over the dodge and burning that I've done. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, the greatest thing is that I'm not actually affecting my original artwork. So that's, uh, you know, th that's an example there on a photo, but say you have, you know, a layered document. So I'll switch over here to... Uh, some wallpapers I did this last summer for the World Cup and I have here you know this is this is a composite of several images uh, to create this stadium and, and to you know get a lot of these little you know, there's some like atmospheric smoke back here you can actually change out these flags there's a lot of stuff you can going on here but I've got a layer here called dodge and burn and uh, if I were to turn that off you you kind of see a subtle change but um, you know, if I kind of toggle between that's on that's off on. I, I, what I've done here is I've kind of basically created some lighting effects and just some contrast and really made this image punch, you know, being a lot more uh, punchy than before. Um, what's great here is I've got, you know, here are all my layers underneath. So I can, you know, I can turn off the stadium flags, I can turn off the stands and, you know, the, the ball and everything. I mean, everything here underneath is, is fully editable. And so if you can imagine if you're working on a website, uh, you know, you know, dodge and burning generally is kind of thought in terms of photography. But you know, if you're working on, say, you know, this is this is these are wallpapers, but you've got you know, say, a whole UI that you're developing, um, or you know, 
whatever. And if, if a dodge and burn is, is applicable for what you're trying to do, I mean, you can apply that. And it's, it's, it's dodge and burning the entire document and not just a single layer, um, which is just very powerful. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, and I can switch back over to this image, is the fact that you can also uh, set uh, the blending mode of this, of this layer to soft light. And it, it, it still is doing kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit more subtle. Uh, you'll notice here I, um, I'm on soft light. Uh, let me go back to 100%. Um, if you notice here around the mouth, right around here, that if I go over to overlay, you can see that's, I mean, that's, that's getting pretty nasty in there, actually. Um, it's, it's kind of burned uh, a little too far. Um, so, you know, you can go to soft light and you're still kind of getting that contrast, that nice uh, burning, but it's not quite so severe. So, you know, sometimes you want to mess around between those two layers. It kind of give you the same effect. Soft light's a little more subtle. You know, the other, the other blending modes are available to you, but you're, you know, you're going to start getting to some really crazy looking uh, effects. And so uh, I tend to stick between these two when I'm trying to get this, uh, this outcome. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, like I said, I use this all the time. Um, and, and I'm, I'm, I even have these things nested inside smart objects sometimes or, um, you know, I've, I've got maybe several of these layers, you know, stacked at different parts of my entire layer palette. So uh, it's, 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 it's a great, it's a great technique and I, um, it's been very valuable to me. So thanks a lot.